Hey everyone, welcome back to our day in the life. We're here in the motel. We are just getting ready to go. I'm pretty much ready. I just got Simeon dressed. I want to see if that little toddler area is open for Simeon this morning because it's got like a little choo-choo train and like a couple of toddler rides. So last night they were not open, so I'm hoping they're open today because he would really like that and it would give him something to do and kind of wear him out a little bit for our little drive we've got to take today. So we're gonna try to do a lot more videos this year, 2021. We're gonna try to really get the videos out there and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. We're gonna try to get three videos out a week. Also, we are looking to make a huge lifestyle change. I know we told y'all on some video back that we were really want to get a home this year so we are gonna go look at something today and I will let Nathan give you more details on it all right so we have been needing some thank you Simeon he's moving the curtain around we've been needing to add to our square footage and cubic square footage in our motorhome for quite some time and frankly there's no way to do that with what we've got so we are going to try this year unless something changes so please don't hold us to account for this this is just our vision our goal and our desire right now we're going to try to sell our motorhome we want to sell our motorhome this year and we want to upgrade to something that's bigger when we originally bought our motorhome our vision was and i'm probably going to do if not several videos about this i'm going to do one major video about this and go into more detail but the vision for our motorhome was obviously it was a house on wheels that was great for transportation. We don't need the transportation part so much anymore. As you know, uh, if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, we are pretty much stationary. So we need something that will produce a lot more space that doesn't necessarily need to go anywhere. And the one thing out there that keeps us mobile if we need to move it keeps us with the capability essentially of going somewhere else or doing something else or moving somewhere else and we can bring our house with us the one thing out there that can do that uh, but yet is really more stationary but has a whole lot more space in it is a fifth wheel fifth wheels have the most space yet they still remain mobile but they are very well suited for long-term sitting. It's not pack up and go like a motorhome is. A motorhome's a little bit, my motorhome anyway, is a little bit more agile. It's capable of just going and coming. But a trailer, there's a little bit more to it, but it's more suited for just long-term sitting. And that's exactly what we need. We, we are living in our motorhome full-time and we'll be living in our trailer, hopefully, Lord willing, full-time but it'll give us so much more square footage. So we're gonna go look today. I've been looking uh, at a particular brand called Mobile Suites. They are basically the top of the line in the industry. There is absolutely no way we could afford a brand new one. They are outrageously expensive from 120 to 170 to over $200,000 for one trailer. They're very, very expensive. But as most RV products, the great part about it for people like us is they depreciate in value tremendously. So you can buy a used one for a very reasonable price and uh, they're still very well built, beautifully insulated, extremely good foundation made of steel. Um, and I'd really like to get a fiberglass rooftop, which is what we have on our motorhome. Our motorhome was practically one of the very best in the industry for its year and age. So it's a really well-built motorhome. We've been able to use it in Maine, as you know. So I want to sort of get a very quality trailer used, more space uh, that'll meet our needs for the next two or three years. Rather than get a home right now and get ourselves attached to a situation like that, I think it'd be better for us if we got a fifth wheel. And we're going to take you along today. In my research, I found that um, there is an RV place here near near where we're at in Pigeon Forge. It's over in Knoxville. It's 34 miles from here. And they are the number one seller of mobile suites, I think, in the nation. So we're going to get a chance to go look at some old ones and get some perspective, get the chance to look at the newest ones. And uh, we'll get to see a lot today, hopefully. And uh, I'm awful excited about it. I'm going to take you all along with us. 
I want you all to sort of follow along on our journey as we transition out of our motorhome, Lord willing, and into a fifth wheel. You may be wondering what's the difference, who would buy a fifth wheel, who would buy a motorhome. Again, I'll get into more of that. If you're traveling a lot, my suggestion would be a motorhome because uh, you don't have to sit in a car for hours and hours. Uh, you can go lay down in your bed, you can go to the bathroom, you can grab something out of the refrigerator. But if you're going to be stationary, but you still want to be mobile, fifth wheel all the way. So that's what we're going to do today, and uh, we're going to go look at that along with some other things that we're going to enjoy here in the town of Pigeon Forge. And of course, we're going to go eat at the Alamo tonight. The Alamo is like their number one steakhouse here. And during the month of January, they have half price menu items. So I buy a steak, Cheyenne buys a steak. Basically, it's one person's meal. Super cheap. A lot of people take advantage of it during this time. We're going to take you along for the day. It's going to be very exciting, and you're going to get to see a, hopefully, you're going to get to see a lot of footage. And I'm going to take a lot of footage because I want to capture this and I want to put this in memory for our own sakes. So, this is going to be exciting. Let's go. Okay, so what I just showed you was the play track for little tots, little toddlers. But as you can see, they're closed for the season. Well, I went up to where the sign was and it says that they were closed for the season. So, there gives that idea and Simeon was like looking at it like, mommy, mommy. So, maybe if we get back here in the summer sometime they'll be open and we can take him because it looks so cute. They had a little choo-choo ride and little rides for like little kids, like toddlers, two years old, like perfect for Simi. So, anyways, so much for that. Okay, everybody, these are practically the top of the line trailers in the industry. These mobile suites and elite suites are made by the same company. These are 2021 models. We're not obviously going to get a new one. We're going to get a used one, but this is an opportunity for us. So this is just an opportunity for us to sort of walk inside of these and get a feel for what they look like on the inside from a personal perspective. I've seen a lot of photos, of course. Special top Yay! jump socks on! <laughs> you got it! <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> go do it again! Jump in!
<laughs> okay, Daddy. Okay, Daddy. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Advisor top. Just telling y'all, it's that good. It is awesome. The Alamo, there's one in Pigeon Forge, and there's one in Gatlinburg, which is the one we're at here tonight. Hey, buddy. This bread and butter is so good, you guys. I'm a bread person, and this is just probably the best bread I've ever had. <laughs> Not kidding. So we got ice cream. The story behind getting Hello. the ice cream tonight was hilarious. So Cheyenne and I, I was driving, she was riding, and she wanted me to get out and get the ice cream at the Kilwins in Gatlinburg. So we switched riders and drivers. I got out, and here I am standing in there waiting on her to go down the strip, turn around and come back and get me. <laughs> and here I am with three ice creams. I got one big one for me, one big one for her, and one small one for little Simmy. And I was holding them there, freezing, because it's 33 degrees out here tonight. And my ice cream, my ice cream was kind of soft. So I'm licking on it. I was a mess. I couldn't even video. We are back in our room. We got one more night here tonight. And we are going to be headed towards Pennsylvania tomorrow. So we will see you in the next vlog.